Hello, pretty soul thing. This is Naeem Chakram here, and I'm just setting up the cards to do um, a rising reading today. Now, these cards have already been pulled for this week, but I'm finally um, getting around to actually recording, so I'm happy. All right, I'm just setting up the cards right now. That was the second card, which is the first out. Okay, so... I have to basically try to go back and remember. Give me one moment. Okay, you guys, so I'm back. I had to sit with Spirit for a minute, and they had to remind me of the questions that I was asking um, the day that I went ahead and pulled these cards. So first, I'm going to hop into the overall energies of all the decks that I use, and those are just the cards at the bottom of the deck. So I use the Divine Oracle Energy deck, and the bottom of the deck for that is Live Your Soul, Not a Roll. So for that energy, and this is the energy that's surrounding the whole reading that's permeating throughout all the other things that may come out as far as details. So that for me automatically is talking about truth getting ready to come out, um, awakenings, I feel, and really just us getting in alignment with who we really are, okay? For the affirmation card that I pulled that I'm going to wait to read a little bit later, no, I'm going to read it now. Anyways, um, <clears throat> the overall energy of that is magenta dyed agate. And it says, are you seeking unconditional love? You really want others to demonstrate the love they have for you. Show your love for others and know that you are well loved by many. Allow love. Be a receptacle for all that is love. Love is power, or excuse me, I guess that's what Spirit wanted me to say. Love is power, and then it says love is your natural state. That's not on the card. The power part, love is power, that's not on the card, but I don't know what the hell I saw. But it is, but it says love is your natural state, and the ar the archangel associated with this is Archangel Zadkiel, and here is the affirmation, and you can repeat this if you want. It says, I am love. I align my consciousness with gentleness, compassion, and goodwill towards all. I am compassionate and kind. I am aligned with the healing powers of inner peace and kindness. I am able to help others by vibrating love through my presence, words, and actions. So that made me feel like for sure love is on a lot of our minds collectively real love, you know, or what we deem individualistically as real love. And spirit is telling us that we need to make sure that we just vibrate in this type of love, the love that we have for ourselves and for other people, make sure that we're vibrating that way. And then um, also to recognize when another person is doing that, you know, allow them to. So, yeah. I definitely feel like that's in all aspects of love, but I like as far as family, friends, but I definitely feel like that's in regards to commitment and these divine unions too. Y'all, I'm sorry. I'm not looking in the right place. So then bottom of the deck for the tarot cards that came out to give us a little bit more insight and a little bit more detail, it is a three of swords. So I feel like the energy that I had there is that we're coming out of confusion or there was confusion before and there's not, or many of us are trying to work through um, our feelings. We're trying to figure out everything, like how do we feel? So that's a great energy to be in, especially coming out of Mercury Retrograde, okay? So hopping on into the reading from the Divine Oracle deck, <clears throat> from the divine energy oracle deck when i was asking spirit all right spirit what spirits i mean what energies are surrounding this reading and the collective at this time i got the wake up call and build on solid ground let me tell y'all that gave me heavy tower energy so something an awakening energy by the way 
tower is an awakening. So it could be a tower moment, but in this tower moment, things are being destroyed so that whether it's things that should not be so that they can, so that the, it can make room for those things that should. And that was what I got hands on. And even though I had a little trouble trying to tap back into the energy today, because I've waited so long to do this reading, those two cards, I ain't have no problem remembering what that's for. Because when I first saw them, I'm like, oh, this reminds me of the judgment card. The wake up call reminds me of the judgment card and the building on solid ground that actually reminds me of the tower. So a lot of a judgment and tower is here. So for, 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 for those who, um, are familiar or may not be familiar with what those cards can mean in the traditional tarot. Judgment can mean a trumpet, alarm being sounded. Um, something is like you need to pay attention to this type energy. With the tower card, it's something being demolished, um, maybe because it ought not be or because it needs to be rebuilt. And sometimes that's with the same ideas, um, people involved, whatever. And other times it's stuff brand new or it's bringing back what should have always been that's the energy hopefully that resonates with some of you guys with the affirmation card i'm going to go ahead and read that now and get that out of the way we've got endokinite tektite now i've never gotten this card I've been having this deck for almost a year now and I have never gotten this card and so I was excited to read it but I was like oh shit some different stuff is happening okay so this is what it says have you been noticing that things seem to happen unexpectedly are old injuries coming back to be reviewed it says it is time to dissipate the emotional charges attachments and expectations as you heal you heal those around you and essentially the planet. Be in the place of allowing and enjoy life. Listen, I have been getting this message primarily from the person who I now feel like or who I feel I am now aware that they are my twin. I've been getting this message from my twin now for the past, really since we've been in, back in contact with one another, but... um. I'm more actually open to receiving it now. It's so crazy. So that's dope energy. Not only that, I really feel like this has everything to do with the or out the 144,000 divine unions, which others may equivocate with the twin flame unions. This has something to do with that energy because with us coming back together and with us being back in union, all of that is to raise the vibration of the earth. But first it starts with us healing ourselves and then we being together is going to also help to heal us. And then it's going to our relationship, our love, the lessons that we learn, the lessons that we're able to share with other people just by living. OK, and or sometimes by speaking about these things because of the wisdom that we've um, received, it's going to bring awareness to how we should move in love and life in general, how we have to heal because of the wounds that we have. And it's going to assist in, uh, you know, raising the vibration of the earth. So that's beautiful energy. And it's telling us to be in the space of allowing. Now, allowing has been said twice so far. So spirit is like, listen, allow this love to happen. So some of us could, when I remember when I told y'all, I felt like some of this was really about a relationship relationship, not just the agape love, but the erotic eros and all that. Yeah. A lot of us who are getting in our unions with our people, <clears throat> you know, we might be, we desire that unconditional love, but we might still be guarded from it because a lot of us are coming out of unions where they were lessons, they were trying, they were tests. We had to really endure some shit, okay? And so some of us are, we desire that, but we're still somewhat guarded. And now we're at this place where, yes, we're open to it, open to the possibilities of it, but we're even having to be, me in these hands, we're even having to be reminded that you chill, like chill, don't be afraid, open up and allow this to happen. So I think that's beautiful for hearing the allowing love to happen. Allow yourself to receive this love and also just enjoy this process. So that's that with that. Now we're going to hop into the tarot. Let's move those cards out of the way. And I love the whole bottom of the deck for the divine energy cards, living your soul, not a role. Listen, this right here should not be fake. This union, you need to truly be who you are. 
that's how you're going to be amazing, okay? Um, you're not going to have to be who a person thinks that you should be with this person. If it's in fact a relationship for some of you guys that this is going to resonate with, you are going to be able to truly be who you know that you're called to be. And that's going to be therapeutic and healing in and of itself. So the next questions that I asked of spirit, I asked spirit to tell me about just more details, you know, surrounding our energies. And I was asking about the current energies at this time. So the two cards that came out from the illuminated tarot deck is the four of spades and the seven of clubs. Four of spades was first that usually represents death and rebirth. So that's my scorpionic card. That is also the card of creation. This is what happens in life. So there are a lot of transformations and changes that are happening in us at this time, both on energetic levels, spiritual levels, personal levels, individual levels, and then collectively, a lot of us are going through major shifts and transformations. Okay, so that's beautiful. There are things that are ending in our lives, and then there are new beginnings that are happening. So that's beautiful energy. With the seven of clubs, okay? Okay. I want to say that's like the equivalent of the seven of wands energy. So I'm going to go ahead and hop into this book. I don't even want to take my time and guess we're going to go straight to the book. How about that? How about that? And it'll jog my memory. So with the seven of clubs, it talks about vigilance, a struggle to stay ahead. So first of all, this, remember when I mentioned that some of us are guarded against, you know, this new connection because the things that we just came out of, that's still the energy that I'm feeling about guarded energy. Cause that's what it also means in the traditional tarot. But I also feel like this is a struggle for some of us to really stay. And look, we got the devil card as my bookmark. I did not look at these cards. I just pulled them. So I feel like some of us are having to basically just overcome some of our fears, control issues, um, and other types of attachments that we have, you know, in order to keep pushing forward, to keep going forward, okay? And also to allow this love in every form that is going to show up in our lives. So that's beautiful, 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 guys. Wow. The next... That was just for what energies are surrounding us at this time. So we've got the newness. We got these death and these rebirths. We've got these endings and these new beginnings. And some people, yes, have been guarded against them. Um, others have been struggling, you know, maybe even struggling against the, the, the tower moments and the awakenings and stuff. But they've been struggling because they were trying to hold on, I think, to something that was being... Um, that we were asking to be released and that's okay it happens that could be the energy surrounding okay now i asked about the perceived challenges <clears throat> i i was basically asking spirit about what's going on as perceived blockages at this time mm -hmm. and the two cards that came out or maybe, I don't know if that was what I was asking. Let me get a moment. Hold on. Spirit, is this for perceived blockages or what's going on at this time? What energies... And with two cards here, I'm wondering if I was doing for the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine. Next time, you guys, I promise I'm going to record all my shit. I don't care if I think I'm going to do it the next day or the same day. I'm recording everything just in case I don't get to it so that I don't lose the information and the insight. But I can't remember what question I was asking here right now. But I normally have started to try to have a template so I can just do it and remember. The first one was about the energies. This one, I feel like I want to say that it's in regards to what we're doing, what our focus is at this point in 
time, okay? So with that being said, the focal points for some of us in this collective is the Eight of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. So let's get that straight out the book first, and then I'll go more into detail. Hold on, guys. The diamonds. Did I say pentacles? I meant diamonds, but they're the they're the equivalent of the pentacles. The eight of diamonds and the queen of diamonds. So for the eight of diamonds, this coming out first. Um, ooh, look at this. So it says comfort is achieved through work and persistence. So I feel like many of us um, are first of all ready to put in work towards something that we really want to manifest. And we're going to do it by consistently working. You know, this could be something that we have a skill in. It could be something that even just mentally speaking, we're just persistent. We're not giving up on it one way or the other. And we're putting in effort each day or we're doing a little bit here and there. You see, it's a quilt here on this card. It's a patchwork quilt. So that means it takes some time. It takes effort. It does take precision. It takes some skill. Um, and it requires patience as well. So I feel like mm -hmm, this is in regards to any aspect of life, career, finance, love. OK, um, work is being put in here and it's going to take a little bit of time, but it will. I feel like we're going to get what we're wanting from this situation. OK, with the queen of diamonds, let's go into the queen of diamonds really quickly. The bookmark. The bookmark is the four of swords for this. So I feel like um, for those of you, like if you could be um, wanting to put in work and wanting to put in effort, but you may not be sure about which way you need to start or what you need to focus on, then meditation could be good in assisting you with that. Okay. Queen of diamonds. Wow. Tower card as the bookmark here. It says a bond between the internal and external mastery, not control of nature. Man, man, man. I feel like this is what a lot of us who are being, who are leaving, who are going through this little death and rebirth cycle that we've been guarded against, not wanting to let go of something and someone and ideas and all that kind of stuff. We're going to have to learn how to go with the flow because that's what I'm hearing with a bond between the internal and the external. That's the spiritual and the physical, number one, coming into alignment. Number two, what I got from this, mastery, not control of nature. It's like, you have to understand to pay attention to what cycles happen, when, why. And instead of trying to control them or in essence, um, being guarded against them because you feel like something is not going the way that you want it to. Instead, it's going with the flow of what season that you're in, in respect to whatever this could be. Like I said, a job, um, um, family, friends, romantic partnerships marriage, whatever, commitment. Instead of getting angry because things aren't going your way, seeing what season of something that you're in and then not just seeing because you have to observe, but just watching what's literally taking place. Watch what is being allowed. Watch what's happening against your will anyway. And that's how we can go into mastery versus control. Wow. 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 And I feel like I'm hearing when we surrender to nature and what's happening and get in alignment with that, we're going to have what we've probably been putting in so much effort and work for all these times. I'm hearing for and in regards to relationships, there are some of us who have been getting in and out of relationships because first of all, we still have hearts. We still desire to be in a union. We still know that there's something out there where we can have this particular thing, but we have... And every relationship has been like a patch in this patchwork quilt. It's been a part of the training. It's been a part of the lesson. But now it's time to pay attention. Take these lessons. Apply it to where this death has happened and this new beginning is starting. Apply the lessons that you learned in the thing that died in this newness. And you will reap the benefits. You will reap the rewards in this new connection. Wow, that is beautiful. And look at this energy. It's at peace. It is at peace. Moving on, don't want to dwell too long. I 
I can't remember the question that I asked right here. So I'm sitting here thinking, trying to see if looking at the cards will help me remember what I was asking spirit after this first set. That I feel like was the energy of the collective. What the collective's focus is at this time. Okay, thank you, Spirit. So when it comes to matters of the heart and matters of love, this is where this is coming in. Um, I was asking, Spirit, what was going on in people's love lives here? We got the zero, we got the queen of spades, and then we got the three of clubs. When I saw this energy, I knew that new beginnings were happening. Somebody was willing to take a risk, a leap of faith. It also was dealing, this is a very spiritual connection as always. All of this is spiritual. But somebody is finally ready to allow their spirit to lead them into a different connection or a different um, job setting or relationship or just a new season period in their life. They had to become logical. OK, think with reason, think with rationale. OK, and they had to speak up for themselves, speak a the truth. They may have recently had to block someone. This eight of uh, I mean, this zero here, this fox or whatever, or I can't remember what it's called. What is it? Let me look at the back of the book. The Joker. It's the fool card. The Joker and the fool are one in the same. So I feel like somebody has had to cut someone off which is in in alignment with the whole ending or new beginnings in order to have a new beginning where there will be cooperation teamwork collaboration okay let me get that three of clubs it says success in business and or efforts rewarded okay and we got the two of wands as the bookmark i feel like somebody could have been at a crossroads possibly having to choose between two different people two different ways of life two different relationships possibly and i feel that with that queen of spades energy here it happened somebody had to cut something off we're gonna go ahead and go get this queen of spades though we're not even just gonna guess we're gonna go get it spades where you at here you go here you go yeah, the four of spades, I'm late. I'm saying this from the book too. It's the cycle of creation, destruction, and renewal. And the bookmark for that is the ace of wands. So this is a passionate new beginning. And I definitely feel like it is in regards to unions, you guys, relationships, the divine unions, the 144,000 unions, okay? With the hanged man, I mean, not the hanged man, I'm sorry. The three of spades was moving beyond sorrow and understanding one's own feelings so remember because the three of swords and this is what overall energy of the, the whole entire tarot reading the three of swords can definitely deal with heartbreak you know when it comes to maybe family connections friendships and or commitments and romantic partners okay so a lot of you guys with this last tower moment your, your feelings were hurt you were hurt behind it but now with you having to get into your head and figure out your feelings and stuff like that and coming out of that now you're moving from sorrow and now you're going to have to work out these new feelings with this renewed thing that then came back around. Some of you guys are being reunited with someone, someone you, that you already knew before. Now, y'all may not have been in a union and stuff like that. You may not have been actually intimate and shit, but there's always been a connection between you two. For others of you, there was a connection. You guys were intimate and stuff, but you separated and now you're coming back together. That's this Ace of Wands energy for me, okay? But because this is a general reading, it could also deal with a new idea or a new creative business opportunity, okay? Now, finally, we're doing the Queen of Spades, right? Yep, 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 yep. This is beautiful, y'all. So the Queen of Spades deals with strategy, intelligence. Say hey, Elijah. Intelligence and ambition. And the bookmark for that is the Six of Swords. Uh, this is this new relationship or this new beginning, no matter what it is for you, okay? You are going to be taking the lessons. Remember, I kind of said something along those lines about the relationship. You're going to be taking the lessons that you learned out of previous experiences, and you're going to be applying it to this new thing, okay? And it's going to make you a queen of sorts or a king. It doesn't matter. But you're going to know what to do now. It's not going to be confusion. You're going to know what you need to do, and you're going to do it. And that's what's going to yield... Got doggone, um, what am I trying to say, y'all? Cooperation. Because now I got to go back and now I need to go look at the three of clubs. 
So look, the Joker and the Fool um, uh, in this deck represents freedom and fearlessness. So I really do feel like, oh, and it's the Knight of Wands. Look at this. This is beautiful, man. That's in regards to a relationship to me. But I feel like any form of relationship, you're about to experience this freedom within it, okay? You're about to become fearless, bold. You're going to be um, optimistic about this new beginning. Well, like I said, whether it's work, friendships, reconnecting, or com or commitments and marriages and stuff like that, you're going to get a chance to be bold, to be yourself. I feel like fearlessness is going to come and your freedom is going to come because, again, remember when I told y'all living the soul, not a role and stuff? With the unions... This is what the union is going to bring out for you. And that's good news. That is something to be passionately happy about, okay? And with this Knight of Wands, this is happening quick, fast, and in a hurry. This is also about risk-taking. This is about quick travel, okay? This is also about quick decisions, quick action being taken towards something that someone is extremely passionate about, okay? You guys could be catching flights and shit or catching feelings, okay? Whatever the case may be, it's happening very quickly. But I think it's, it's, it's supposed to, okay? So now we're trying to get to this three of clubs. Here it goes. It is that efforts rewarded and the success in business. But more than anything, it's success, period. Whatever this business could be. It could be the business of love, the business of family, and or of course, business. But there's going to be success, okay? Especially if we apply the lessons that we have learned along the way. I got more cards here. What are these cards for? Oh, that was the seven of clubs where we showed that was the devil energy. And then this one. Okay. Now the last and final thing that I've asked here for after um, what was going on and, you know, in the love situation, I asked for the most likely outcome for the highest good of all that was involved. Okay. As well as maybe an outcome that wouldn't be perceived as something so great. So let me get those for us. Hold on, y'all. Here we go. So the Jack of Clubs is this one. And it says the enthusiastic pursuit of a new venture. So that to me, this is the one that's about the the the, the um, most likely outcome for the highest good right here. I feel like this is being excited about this new beginning. This is being excited about the beginning of this new job, this new relationship, this reunion of sorts, okay? <coughs> excuse me, this new business pursuit. Might as well get excited about it. This is like the page of something. Page of wands. <coughs> excuse me, guys. Now let's go see. The nine of wands is the bookmark for the last card, which would be the one that would be maybe what is not for the highest good, okay? The high priestess is talking about juggling and multitasking. So <clears throat> in order for this to be kind of like maybe not the best, it could be that you guys may have a hard time making a decision between a certain thing. So you might try to do both of them and spread yourself thin. You could go back and forth between someone or like if it's an, or an idea or a job or something like where it's like the same cycles, the same things keep popping up over and over and over and over again for you, okay? And with the high priestess being here, this is something that you might already know could be the case, okay? For some of you guys who are in a love connection, this could be that the person that you're considering going back to, this person has a whole nother person and you would be part of, you know, not that that's terrible if that's what you want. But if you know that you don't want that, then going back to this person, you know that they're trying to juggle the both of you. They're trying to balance the both of you. And if it's not a person, they're trying to balance other things, other extenuating circumstances that actually bother you. So the thing is, what I'm getting from this as a clarifier to me for this is that basically you already know these things bother you. You already know that they keep coming up as challenges and obstacles in your connection or in your relationship, in your business venture, in whatever. So... <clears throat> If you do not choose to go differently, to take this new approach, to accept this newness that's coming into your life, then you're going to continue to deal with those things that actually make you uncomfortable because 
Nine of Wands is energy that is agitating. It's frustrating. It's like, damn, we here again. We got to do this again. You know, there's passion here. There's commitment here because that also tends to deal with, you know, you, you're, you're wanting to continue to hope for the best in a connection, but it keeps being obstacle after obstacle. And all the time, that's not negative. But in this case, with this being the bookmark only is all it was. It was the bookmark for this card, which is right now in the in the place of being a negative at this time, then I'm going to say that right now is not the time to be willing to stand firm and stand tall and be vigilant, okay? And valiant is the word I'm looking for at this time because it's only going to upset you, okay? So that has been the general rising reading at this time. I'm going to go ahead and also record the fifth element reading so I can finally get these done. I pray that something resonated with you guys, okay? Um, yeah, that's it. This has been the Pretty Coach Oracles. Thank you for bearing with me. Thank God spirit came through because baby, I was about to be lost. Okay. But I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Have a wonderful day. Um, and yeah, peace, love, light, and darkness working in balance and harmony together. Bye you guys.